Kangol versus Wolf. Which is stronger and could win a fight? Is it possible for the Kangol, a stronger breed of dog, to defeat one of its more powerful cousins, the wolf? The main difference between them is that one is a wild animal and the other is a guard dog. The Kangol is Turkey's national dog, having originated in the area of Sivas as a fawn-colored, black-masked breed. These dogs are bred for their defensive abilities, making them useful to livestock managers and security forces. Dogs can defend herds, properties, and people from wild animals, which live in Turkey and Africa. The gray wolf, Canis lupus, is the largest of the wild dog family, often known as the timber wolf. The gray wolf is listed as an endangered species under the 1973 Endangered Species Act because they are still hunted as a threat to cattle, humans, and for sport in many parts of the world. What do they look like? The Kangal dog is a huge, robust, heavy-boned dog whose size and proportions have naturally developed as a result of its continued use as a predator guardian in Turkey. With drop ears, the head is large and relatively wide. The tail, which is typically curled, completes the distinctive silhouette. The Kangol dog has a double coat that is moderately short and quite dense. A black mask and black silky ears contrast with a pale dun to grey whole body coloring. Males stand an impressive 29 to 32 inches, 74 to 81 centimeters tall at the withers. Though the breed standard does not specify an ideal weight, males generally weigh approximately 136 to 176 pounds, 62 to 80 kilograms, and females 110 to 154 pounds, 50 to 70 kilograms. Because they are the ancestors of our domestic dogs, the gray wolf has a recognizable body shape. They have a thick coat of fur that helps to keep them warm by holding body heat. The color of their fur varies widely across its area, and it is not always gray, as their name suggests. Black, brown, gray, and almost totally white are all options. They have a long muzzle and large ears on their faces, which help them locate their prey. Their legs are long and end with a large foot that has claws at the end of it. Their body measures between 3.25 and 5 feet, 1 to 1.5 meters long, and weighs 35 to 140 pounds, 16 to 30 kilograms. Males are typically larger than females. Where do they live? The Kangal breed was called after the Kangal district in Sivas province, Turkey, where it is thought to have originated. Despite its regional origins, the Kangal dog is regarded as Turkey's national dog by many Turks. In 1985, the Nelsons imported their first Kangal dog to the United States. This dog and subsequent imports provided the foundation for the Kangal dog in the United States. The province of Sivas and the town of Kangal are home to true Kangal dogs. Others claim Charmaine Steele and others in Britain were the first to develop the breed in the West. In 1965, the first Kangals arrived in England. Historically, grey wolves have the largest range of any land mammal, other than people. Except for tropical forests, grey wolves have lived in every habitat in the northern hemisphere. Forests, tundra, and grassy plains, as well as deserts and mountains, are all common habitats for grey wolves. Today, the grey wolf's range has been reduced to some states in the US, Grey wolves can also be found in Canada, Russia, and a few nations in Eastern Europe. 
What do they eat? These Sivas Kangals used to eat scraps from villages such as water, goat's milk, yogurt, and even bread. Because this guardian's historical diet is likely nutritionally incomplete due to a lack of high-quality protein, you should opt for a high-quality kibble. Feel free to add raw meat on occasion. Kangal dogs are enormous, and they have enormous appetites to match. Some ranchers, on the other hand, choose to feed their animals a raw diet. The grey wolf is a carnivore. Large mammals like moose, wild boar, and wapiti, as well as smaller species like the American beaver, snakes, lizards, and fish, make their diet. Carrion will be consumed as well. Some of the animals they consume can weigh up to 10 times as much as the wolf. These huge meals allow them to go up to a week without eating. Hunting is done in a group called a pack. Larger packs can hunt larger prey, whereas smaller packs focus on smaller prey. How do they behave? The normal Kangal dog is first and foremost a stock guardian dog with a temperament that is characteristic of such dogs. Vigilant, territorial, and protective of the domestic animals or human family with whom it has formed a bond. The Kangal dog has the strength, speed, and bravery to intercept and face dangers to the sheep and goat herds it protects in Turkey and the New World. Kangal dogs prefer to scare predators, but if required, they will take a physical stand and attack. When it comes to strangers, they are reticent, but when it comes to family, they are devoted and affectionate. Grey wolves are pack animals that live, hunt, and travel in groups. The alpha male and female, as well as their young and older offspring, makes up an average wolf pack of seven to eight individuals. The alphas are the pack's leaders, responsible for defining the group's territory, choosing den locations, and chasing down and hunting prey. They have strong bonds with the other members of their pack and communicate with them through a variety of calls. Grey wolves like to move at night and can cover up to 200 kilometers per day. Now, in a battle between a Kangal and a wolf, who would win? Kangals and grey wolves are both canids that descended from wolves and are members of the canid family. Is it possible for the Kangal, the strongest breed of dog, to defeat one of its more powerful cousins, the wolf? In most circumstances, wolves are cunning predators who can outsmart and outpower their opponents. But when confronted with a determined Kangal, things can change. A Kangal has the ability to kill a wolf. Kangals are an ancient species bred to scare, deter, fight, and even kill huge predators such as coyotes, bears, and wolves. The Kangal is more than capable of fighting and killing wolves because of its powerful body, strong fighting instincts, and 743 PSI biting force. They will not initiate a confrontation with a predator, but will give them every opportunity to run. And if a fight does happen, the Kangal is strong and aggressive enough to give deadly bites and blows to any predator. Of course, in a one-on-one -on -one fight with a wolf, the wolf can bite the Kangal and kill him. Most wild predators, such as big cats and dogs, go for the neck, but most livestock guards wear neck protectors like this. Basically, this makes it extremely difficult for a wolf to get a grip on the neck, whereas the Kangal can simply grip it. What makes wolves dangerous to dogs is that while they may be close in size, they are completely different animals in every sense of the word. Wolves are apex predators and wild animals. They hunt for a living and are capable of taking down larger prey. They're also cunning creatures. 
They hunt in packs using clever tactics and are capable of outwitting dogs. Wolves, regardless of breed, will always represent a threat to dogs. Kangals can kill wolves, but usually the wolves found in Turkey are smaller than the grey wolves. In my opinion, the result of this fight depends very much on the wolf. Most Kangals are trained in the same style, but the wolves have different degrees. If a Kangal fights, for example, with an alpha grey wolf, it is clear that he has no chance. But against a weaker wolf, perhaps even smaller than the dog, there is a chance that the Kangal will win. What do you think about this fight? Don't forget to go to the channel's community page and vote for this fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.